so many colors, black, orange, gray. Perfect for napping. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to Ellie Knows Rocks. Today I am standing on a secret location. Actually, this is somewhere near Burrow Creek. I am in Arizona and I am looking for pastelite today. Also, I'm looking for the infamous blue Burrow Creek agate. I was fortunate enough about six years ago to find one and so today I hope to reclaim victory and find some more because they're absolutely beautiful and this is one of the only places that you can find that actual blue purple agate. They're amazingly gorgeous. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Otherwise we'll be finding a lot of chalcedony, a lot of flint, some pastelite with common opal on it. So thank you guys so much for joining me on this adventure and let's go see what we find. Now I should start by saying that pastelite, agate, jasper, chert, chalcedony, flint, and opal are all basically the exact same thing. They're all microcrystalline quartz, but they're called different things based on how they form, where they form, and the mineral inclusions. What's on that? Oh. Cool, these are gonna look awesome tumbled. Yeah, pastelite is a it's like a really coarse grain chalcedony, basically. And it just has many, many, many inclusions out here of the different colors because of the volcanic activity. And we're in a bunch of rhyolite too. Okay. Oh wow, and then you get like brecciated ones. Look how cool this is. All of the colors, like every freaking rainbow color yeah, out there. The cool ones. Oh, okay. yeah, I see. I'm always afraid you're gonna cut yourself. I won't cut myself. I'm like, Ellie, put on some gloves. No, gloves could be bad, actually. Because they'll pull into it. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, so many rainbow colors. Like. This is a pastelite agate. Now, let me explain. An agate is usually referred to something that has banding due to the way that it forms. And it forms within voids of volcanic rocks and an accumulation of silica-rich groundwater. And it gets its bands based on the mineral inclusions and the different influxes of fluid over time. <gasps> Whoa! That's pretty cool with all the little spots in it. I thought it was cool. That's awesome. It's not a cute person, though. <laughs> so this is what the outside looks like, kind of white chalky and then the inside is this beautiful pastelite really sugary looking crystals all right i'm gonna take all of these smack them let's see what's inside <laughs> are you recording uh-huh oh, why it's right there that's okay it doesn't matter sometimes you just have to break through that rind on the rock to see the beautiful colors inside to know what you're taking home Oh, I'll make it break. <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. See that band? Ooh, wow, that's awesome. Very cool. It's only in the you one. Want to do this. All right, so here's the carnage. Look at that. Oh, that prettiness inside. That one with multicolors, and this guy came off of it. This one, and then this really cool, like grayish blue swirliness. Man, the patterns. Holy crap. Aren't those cool? Yeah, they're really pretty. Like, those would be amazing to like cut on the tile saw. No, I won't cut my hands open. <laughs> that one was okay. I'm glad people are concerned. <laughs> oh, they're awesome. Oh, look at the stripes. Oh my gosh. Oh, those multicolored, like green, red, white. Oh, that's so cool. Ooh, ooh, 
Look at this one. Wow. Yes. Holy cow. Man, oh man. Again, this whole hill, this entire hill is just covered with these. And I'm walking along the windrow <laughs> again. And using Dan's truck today instead of my Jeep or the side-by-side. -side. I also have friends, their voices are in the background. People came out with me today. The shards. Donnie Dust would be in love with this place because this is some awesome material to make arrowheads out of. Kind of druzy on the outside. <laughs> Whoa, big old pieces. Like, is that not amazing? Oh, like this type of material? Oh. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And this type of material right here is the perfect type of material to map. That. Here you get you this very, very tight crystalline structure because that's more calcidney, whereas like the pastelite like this is much more sugary textured. Some of these are just, they're so cool. I can't, I can't get over it. I mean, there's just mountains of them, mountains. This guy right here, it's really almost like a whitish blue. Not quite blue, but man, getting there. In the middle of the road. This is what I get for not bringing stuff to dig it out of the ground. The color variations that we're seeing are a result of alternating silica compositions and pH, as well as the inclusions of different mineral impurities, as well as the different sized silica spheres. And the colors we see are a direct result of the specific light reflective properties in those impurities. Now, what elements cause these sort of reflective properties? Iron will make a mineral red or purple. Titanium can cause it to be blue. Nickel or chromium can make it green. And magnesium will make it pink. So you can imagine mixing any of these elements together would allow us to see the rock in many different colors. Look at this dude. Wow, look at that one. Oh, that's awesome. Wow, cool. Stripies. Stripes. I like the stripey ones. Many pieces, big, little, miniature, huge. I just, I love them. I stop like every two seconds picking another one up. And my phone keeps overheating, guys, so I'm trying to get good video coverage of all of this, but it's kind of hit or miss because literally I've had to put my phone in the ice chest in order to cool it off. <laughs> Oh, that one looks neat. This would be amazing, please be amazing. Oh, wow, this is huge. Whoa. Check that out. Holy crap. Look at that. Oh, man. Wow. I kind of want to break it again. Oops. And just, just because. Oh, maybe that one too. Oh, there's too many of them. Goodness sake. Oh, that was, that's what happens when I use my left hand. Oh, there we go. Yes. Oh, sweetness. Whoa. 
Oh. Oh, yeah, I broke it open. It's got all these awesome swirls in it. It's all, like, gray. It's all, like, totally gray colored. That's really freaking sweet. <laughs> a lot of the best ones take a little bit of digging. And for me, it's all about the mixing of the minerals. You'll have some banded agate, you'll have some pastelite, and then you'll have a mixture of common white opal. Also, if you're wondering why it's white, it's because of the massive amount of air bubbles that are trapped in the chemical structure while it cools. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> to the rocks. Oh my gosh. Look at that. We're going to smack this one open for sure. Look how cool. Okay. This is the stripy one, guys, that I dug out of the ground, so hopefully it breaks nicely. kind of crackly and the stripes go around but we'll have to like clean it off with water in order to really really see <laughs> so <cool> though. <laughs> look at that geode holy cow and see i'll be i'll take them home a little line of crystals and really cut them open and like cut off parts of the geode where's some <gasps> oh my goodness sake. Wow, see, I guess this is what you do when you just kind of go balls to the wall and just start smacking stuff open. <laughs> okay, so we were going to cross the river or stream, and it's been, like, hella raining here because of monsoon, so I don't want to get Dan's truck stuck, and we don't have any service whatsoever. So if I was to get stuck, we would be sitting there for quite a while. So... Started, but it's really cool looking. It's just a little on the deep side and I have my friends with me and I don't want to get them stuck either. So we're going to go back to a different area and look for some blue pestilite hopefully after our lunch snack. So hopefully, hopefully I find something a little bit more blue. We're going in there in a minute to have a snack because there's some big rocks over there and there's a lot of shade right next to the water. Just like a reminder type thing. Oh, I thought it was for tents. I was surprised. Yeah, please don't have bugs. Oh, okay. It's cool. You should totally do it. I never get to record myself. Oh, a bee dive bombed me yesterday while I was trying to do a selfie thing and I don't think the camera caught it. But I'm I'm doing this and I'm like catching myself and I scream and I run away. <laughs> <laughs> I am sitting next to a beautiful creek. I um, just stopped to have like a snack. So cheese, granola bars, and I brought potato chips today. And of course a beverage because why not? Poops. Someone has to pee. Do you have to go peeps or poops? <laughs> <laughs> Just your shirt. Go You're ahead. fine. I mean, we're not going to look at you. <laughs> Conversation you have when you're on the trail. Take energy with you. Okay, I always take some form of fat like cheese and whatnot. And then I will bring some form of energy bar. These are really great. I love the salted caramel. Apparently, some kind bars will give people the farts. And I just recently found this out. So... If you're one of those people, you may want to be careful that you don't get the wrong energy bar when you're out in the field. Just saying. And I'm back to the trusty truck. We're at a different site over here and we are looking for this. This is a blue grayish, really, really sugary crystal pestilite. Oh yeah, look at that one. All those white lines, that's so cool. All right, we're gonna go up here on this hill. That too. That's cool. 
That is really, really super random, but I'm gonna put it in my bag. Hopefully my phone doesn't start to overheat as badly. Keep it in the shade. Oh, wow. Look at this. That's just super pretty. Wow. It's beautiful specular hematite with epidote on it, maybe? That's really weird. Did you find a cool one? Yeah, this one might Oops. I'm gonna break it. Yeah. That's cool. We'll break it open. Look at that cute little dude. Oh my gosh. That's cool. Wait, let me see if there's a half. There's that one. Oh, here's his there's his, there's his twin. There you go. Those are very cool. Yeah. Sweet. Good rock. Uh, I am looking for really like modeled on the outside. Very, very crystalline silicate. Oh, those are. Oh, never mind. Shotgun shell backing. Ooh. This is all created this like crunchy, crumbly stuff because when it rains and then it dries, because there's so much clay in this rhyolite material, it's crazy. Oh, wait. Use. Stuff like this. Oh, look at that piece. That's a good color. We're gonna snag these and put them in the bag. Cool. This is kind of interesting. I don't know. I could have some stuff in it. That's really beautiful. That is really blue. Oh man. See, there's the outside of it. Very unsuspecting almost, but you can see some color. Look at that, that's gonna polish up really pretty. Super boiling hot. Hard to find things. Like this one might be neat. That little nodule right there. This guy, I take him. Ugh. Some of these we're gonna end up cutting on the tile saw, of course. Like this one. Mm, that doesn't feel like it. Like there's kind of a certain weight, there's a certain texture that you're looking for that is hopeful for having things. You don't want to just pick up anything. I mean, but I always pick up like everything, so. This is that particular texture that I'm talking about. It has lines and a grittiness to it. We are just out in the middle of nowhere. So many different colors of rock, and rhyolite edging so much volcanic material that is creating what we're finding. Oh, that's a pretty piece. <sighs> oh, and so is that one. These will tumble up really, really beautifully. This, with the stripes. Yes. Yes, I love, love the stripey pieces. Oh, that's cool. That's really cool. Yes, look at that phone cut out for some reason right when I found this. It looks so cool. Like that one, that one hopefully will have some like color in it. The bad thing is, and the tricky part about all of this is you never know. Situation, <gasps> back in Havasu when we clean them off and hope that cutting them open is going to be amazing and awesome because this one looks really promising. That is yeah, so cool. look at that. All these pieces, look at this guy. Break off these chunks. Oh my goodness, wow, look how cool that is. is. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love that. Wow. So see all the little iron bits and like the little white clouds? Those are cool. Those are really cool. Yeah. Sweet. Check that out. Nice. Look how cool they are with the little teeny tiny mini geodes of oh, crystals wow. in them. Oh my god. With all the gray. Wow. <laughs> Look at the rim. 
Look at that beautiful, like you have gray, white, blue. That's pretty cool. That's yeah, a good one. That is. <laughs> so, cut myself a little bit because the rocks came back and got me. Like they ricochet. Like it's not, and this one's bruised like pretty good. I, I, honestly, it's like already pretty bruised. That's what can happen when you are breaking rocks over with a sledgehammer. You gotta be super careful. And we're off to back home. Now I've collected a ton of different things on this little rock hound trip. If I showed you guys every little thing I did with them, these videos would be really, really long. So be sure to check out my YouTube shorts and head over to my Instagram so that you can see what I have done with some of these minerals. Apparently the first time was like, driving the truck back home it kept making some kind of a weird sound it wasn't really like that strange but because the the leaf springs in it and all of the suspension kind of usually makes noise and then i found this oops so this is one of the like sway bar like stabilizers or disconnects and the bolt like broke off so it like attaches up there somewhere and now I need to go home and see if I can find a bolt and a nut to reattach it so that I can get it home because it used to look like that and it broke off. I have no idea how the crap I did that. So, oops, like we didn't hit anything too hard, but <laughs> I can't believe this right now. Like it sucks so bad. I, had to, I told Dan about it and he says that I owe him big time. It's not that big of a deal, but it's like, sucks so bad i didn't mean to break the truck like on the way home that was not the intention to like actually hurt things but it it's definitely like it's in a sore state of movement so this sucks and anyways that's sometimes how an adventure ends you break stuff <laughs> oops here is the haul now that we've gotten it back home. I'm squirting it off just to get off the dirt and the grime so that these beauties can really shine up and you can see what they actually look like without all the dust on them. Now I know that most of these are in the shade and they're beautiful here. However, I've pulled out some of my very favorite pieces and put those in the sunlight. And oh my goodness, are they pretty. You have swirls and colors and just, oh my gosh, this pinkish bluish color which is beautiful that kind of pink and sand color the pink center is super sugary but it should again polish up really pretty i love the white with the crystal veins running through oh that one with the eye oops the the little red marks in it are just really really high concentrations of iron this really pretty geode oh, isn't that cool now I'm gonna further like cut some of these, but look at the geode. Oh my gosh, all the little sugary crystals in there. I'm not sure what the yellow stuff is, but it's it's all amazing. This really pretty blue, like sugary purple gray color. I don't know exactly what color to put on it, but this one, holy crap. I mean, can you not agree that that white with the red, oh man. And this is really cool. All the little stripes with the pink center. And this is fascinating. It's got a lot of opal in it, but it's got dendritic shapes all the way around it. This is gonna cab up really nice, at least that's my intention. Look at like this mahogany sort of like pale sand color. <laughs> I'm just so happy with all of these colors. They are freaking fantastic. Look at that. Like I'm not even sure exactly how to cut all of them. A lot of them are gonna go into the tumbler, but I do have a couple special piles like this one right here but you guys will have to tune in later to a different video to see exactly where that's going. Oh, this one's pretty cool. It's got like a very opalized but sugary texture. You can kind of see it shine. But the stripes and the pattern, I just love the layers. And those layers are created by a lot of different influx of fluid, unlike this breccia right here. The brecciated ones are because when the rock or those fluid inclusions first happened, all of that fluid kind of clinched around all of those little white bits and engulfed it. So you can see the outer bits of the white opal and then all of the clear silica or chalcedony around it. 
basically the opal had formed first and then the other silica fluid came in wrapped around it and that's how it formed i just i wish i had a rock that was the all of this something huge oh my gosh i'm just in love with it this is a handful of the smaller pieces that are cleaned off that i'll end up putting in the tumbler geez i feel so bright right now so i've been sorting these into bigger piles and then the pile i'm gonna tumble and I also got this bag back here from my alma mater, um, my college, Mackie School of Mines from Mackie Madness. And I was like, wait a minute, didn't I take this bag with me while I was out looking for Pastelite? Yes, I did. Wow. I feel real bright right now. Inside of this guy, that's a bluish purple. This eye one. I know, it's going off. More purples. A lot of whites, like the centers. These nodules, they're just white nodules, and the inside of them is a blue purple with a black ring. I would definitely say overall, we found a myriad of colors, including the infamous blue purple pastelite agate as well as reds and greens and oranges. Uh, the color spectrum goes on forever, but definitely, definitely a triumph. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really, really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a little bit of something and I'll see you guys on the next one.